Ladies and gentlemen, Impact Pro Wrestling comes to you one more time. One more time from Sacramento. One more time before best in the world. Best in the world being this Sunday. We are in Sacramento this Sunday. We will be in Dallas, Texas. And ladies and gentlemen, Impact Pro Wrestling is going to be something else tonight. And it appears that we are going to get it right into the show because as you can see ladies and gentlemen here comes the all-star of ipw ladies and gentlemen boys and girls allow me to introduce to you johnny star you can see very clearly johnny star not in a formal wrestling attire looks like he's not planning to come out here to fight looks like he's coming out here to say a couple words here maybe Last week we saw Johnny Starr really help out Kevin Magic from what would have been a devastating Heath Gold attack. So you gotta believe that Johnny Starr, the All-Star, is definitely coming out here to address Heath Gold. Maybe address his own position for best in the world. We can very clearly see last week that Johnny's not done with Heath. So we'll see exactly what Johnny's got to say here. You can see these fans excited to hear what Johnny's got on his mind. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you can see very clearly the All-Star is fired up. He's looking forward to this Sunday. Best in the world, the All-Star and the Golden Boy. Looks like we're going to have another matchup between these two. But, of course, that matchup is for best in the world. Right now, we're going to get into our show. It's our first matchup of the evening. Mr. Amazing and Doc Adams are about to go head-to-head. -head. In the center of that ring. And as you see right now, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is the Hitman. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes Doc Adams. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is our very last Impact Pro Wrestling before we're best in the world right here. So this is everyone's last chance to impress the IPW general manager in some way, shape, or form. Just enough maybe to get on the best in the world card. You gotta do what you gotta do right here. And Doc is looking to do something here. He's looking for a victory. He's looking to impress. He's looking to get himself on the card for best in the world. And we'll see how that goes for him in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. You can see Doc, he is ready, all business as usual. The Hitman does not play games inside that ring. He's all business, and you can tell by the look on his face, he is not playing games tonight.
Now, here comes his opponent, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce to you Mr. Amazing. We've seen Mr. Amazing on Impact Pro Wrestling before. Mr. Amazing being a semi regular here on IPW. We'll see if tonight Mr. Amazing can pull out a great victory here against Doc Adams. Both of these men doing the same thing, looking forward to best in the world, looking for a matchup on the card. And we'll see if these two men can get it. Mr. Amazing and Doc Adams. I don't remember seeing these two men in the ring with each other any time recently. So for me, this is going to be a great matchup. I'm not really sure which one of these two men are going to walk out victorious. We've seen Doc Adams triumph multiple times on Impact Pro Wrestling. And we've seen Mr. Amazing triumph multiple times on Impact Pro Wrestling. Tonight, it's all about which man can overcome the other. And it's going to be fun to see that. Now, of course, that's Doc Adams. And that's Mr. Amazing. And that's the referee that's going to ring the bell and get this matchup started. You can see Doc getting it started off here, trying to go after the arm of Mr. Amazing. A nice move right there, getting it started off with some nice technical wrestling skill. Now, got Mr. Amazing back of the neck here. But Mr. Amazing fighting out with not one, not two, but three big elbow shots right to the gut of Doc Adams. Doc with a nice arm drag reversal. Amazing, nice punch to the gut. Going under and delivering the clothesline. Great move right there from Mr. Amazing. Now the Irish whip sending Doc to those ropes. And Amazing, gonna hit him with the Samoan draw. You can see Amazing fired up here. Looking to do everything he can. Doc trying to fight back though. Nice shoulder block. Now getting Mr. Amazing up. Mr. Amazing's going to get hit with the suplex. Doc doing a little bit of taunting right here. Overhead shot. Putting Amazing in the corner. And Doc going to slam him out of the corner with that reverse STO. Nice body splash right here. Now you can see Doc setting up. For that very nice half hatch DDT. Mr. Amazing rolling it to the outside of the ring. Referee trying to hold back. Doc got him done. Kind of got him caught right there because you can see Mr. Amazing able to quickly deliver that hard DDT. Now here comes Amazing delivering a nice vertical suplex. Kick to the back right here. Now you can see Amazing. Back in control right here. Mr. Amazing, second rope. He's looking to fly, which he's gonna do with that nice second rope clothesline. Now Doc Adams rolling to the outside of the ring on the apron, looking to regain himself here. And look at that. Amazing tried to go for a punch, but Doc delivering a forearm. Trying to go for something right here, but Amazing able to slip out of it, turning it into a back suplex. Mr. Amazing not going for the pinfall. That's one, but you can see Doc able to kick out ASAP. Another nice kick right to the back. Mr. Amazing with a nice elbow right to the back of the neck. And you can see Mr. Amazing just letting... Oof, not letting up here, Doc Adams trying to fight here. Very nice back body drop as a reversal. Now you can see Doc coming back into this matchup. Drop kick right to the side of the head and then the body splash. Just jumping up and delivering all his weight on Mr. Amazing. Now you can see the camel clutch being applied here. Doc trying to do some damage with that, but Mr. Amazing able to slip out of it quickly. Turning over Doc real quick, going for the pinfall, but only able to get one. Doc rolling with Mr. Amazing, getting up to his feet quickly, and now able to hit Mr. Amazing with a trio of elbow shots. 
Now Doc, pinfall of his own. But Mr. Amazing, able to kick out. Amazing rolling to the outside of the ring, and Doc following. Now you see both of these men on the outside of the ring, and it's going to get a lot more dangerous here. As you see Doc Adams just throwing Mr. Amazing face first into that steel post. Doc going after the arm, trying to stun Mr. Amazing for a moment here. And now you can see Doc just going to slam Mr. Amazing back first up against the apron. Hardest part of the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Lufez pressing. You can see Doc Adams delivering us some fists right to the face of Mr. Amazing. Now getting him up, getting him on his feet. And Mr. Amazing going to send Doc Adams back into the ring. And this matchup will continue as it was intended to. But maybe not for long because you can see now Mr. Amazing once again taking this matchup to the outside. Doc Adams and Mr. Amazing on the outside again. Mr. Amazing in control here. Nice drop kick right to the back by Mr. Amazing. Now you can see Doc getting a little bit of heat right on him right here. Maybe not for long because Doc is trying to fight back. European uppercut. And Doc gonna send Mr. Amazing once again face first. Steel ring post. And you can see Mr. Amazing not even moving. Must have hit that ring post abnormally hard. Doc sending Amazing back into the center of the ring. Getting him on his feet. And here comes that straight jacket DDT. That we've seen so many times from the Hitman. Big old wind-up elbow drop, dropping it right on the back of the neck of Mr. Amazing. And now Doc looking to finish this matchup here. Mr. Amazing in trouble because Doc is looking for that tomb stone pile driver. You can see Doc Adams rolling over Mr. Amazing. Pinfall. We got one. That was two, and that's three. Doc Adams pulling out a successful victory here. Phenomenal victory. Right here, our very last Impact Pro Wrestling before Best in the World. And Doc Adams able to find a victory for himself. You gotta believe that's gonna help him out in some way, shape, or form when it comes to uh, his job this Sunday at Best in the World. Great matchup right here by both of these men. Mr. Amazing definitely had this matchup going for himself a little bit here. But I think Doc Adams just had him tonight. He was just the better man on this night. You can see Doc right here in the highlights with that straight jacket DDT. You can see Mr. Amazing in these highlights. Both these guys did a lot and tried everything they could. But that right there was to finish that tombstone pile driver. And that is what ended this matchup. In the favor of that man, the hitman, Doc Adams, pulling out a great victory here on IPW. Now, ladies and gentlemen, looks like it's time for our second match of the evening. The Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion will be in action as Jack Smith, Man of the Hour, Champion of the Century, goes one-on-one -on -one with Ryan O'Ryan. And this matchup is about to begin. I haven't seen Ryan O'Ryan here on Impact Pro Wrestling for a very long time. Tonight we're going to see if Ryan O'Ryan can come back with a major victory against the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion. Ryan coming out here. It's looking good. Looks like he is ready for this matchup. One's got to wonder how he feels about Impact Pro Wrestling since he's been gone. We haven't seen Ryan O'Ryan a whole lot here. Some things have changed on IPW. A lot of things have changed actually. One's got to wonder what Ryan's mindset is walking into this matchup. First match back for a while. He's going to be going one-on-one -on -one with the television champion. No small feat.
Gotta believe though, Ryan called himself the real man. So you gotta believe that the real man is definitely gonna come into this matchup to do everything he can. He's got the physique, looks like he's got the confidence too, but we'll see it tonight right here in this matchup if he's uh, got the skill to back all of that up. He's in the ring, he's ready for this matchup, the real man. But now we need his opponent, ladies and gentlemen. We need the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion. And there he is, the IPW Television Champion, the man of the hour, the champion of the century, ladies and gentlemen, Jack Smith. Of course, coming down with the IPW television title here. First defense of that title for Jack Smith coming this Sunday at Best in the World. Defense number one. It is definitely going to be a spectacular event. Evan Perkins has got to be watching. And you got to believe that Evan's going to have to take some last minute notes. Some last minute observations. See if there are any chinks in the armor of the man of the hour. Jack Smith with that IPW television title in hand. And he's got everything to gain and everything to lose here at best in the world. He's got reputation, really championship respect here to gain. And he's got the world to lose if he loses at best in the world to Evan Perkins. But of course, that's at best in the world. Matchup has started right here, and Jack Smith coming right out of the gate, aggressive with the sling blade. And now delivering a knee right to the lower back of Ryan Ryan. Getting him up right here, quick punch to the gut. Irish whip, rebound into the shoulder block. You can see Jack just stomping down on Ryan for a moment, now getting him up to his feet. And here comes Smith with a nice float over neck breaker. Only able to get one, however. Ryan able to kick out. You can see Jack taking a minute in that corner, but Ryan getting up to one knee and now up to his feet here. But you can see Jack all looking for some big moves already. Big move coming in the form of a vertebraker. Now Jack going back to another corner here. And it looks like he's looking to deliver maybe a little bit of... A little bit of disrespect, we've seen this multiple times. The get down. A move that he, he stolen apparently from the man that he took the IPW television title from DJ Summers. And now look at Jack ending the matchup with that electric chair driver. There's no way Ryan's kicking out of that, which he didn't. You can see right here Jack Smith pulling out a Big, quick victory, gaining momentum towards best in the world, towards his matchup with Evan Perkins, doing it in dominating fashion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, while you watch the highlights, I'm watching Jack Smith grab a microphone. Looks like Jack's got something to say to all the IPW fans here in attendance and all the fans watching at home. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can see Jack Smith making his mind very clear, encouraging Evan Perkins. Looks like Jack Smith is very confident about his stakes for best in the world. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a couple of matches now, but now it's time for our third matchup of the evening. The Heartbreaker Tommy Hart is about to go one on one with Adam Austin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
Jack Smith, as we just seen a moment ago, is very clear and very confident about his own standing for best in the world, his own ideas for how best in the world for go. He's encouraging Evan Perkins to bring everything he's got. He is confident in that title reign. We know for a fact that Trevor Jericho is also confident in best in the world. We just saw Johnny Starr earlier tonight. He is very fired up. Now, in this matchup, we have Adam Austin, of course. He will be accompanied down to ringside by Jacob Buck. Now, Team Respect, we haven't heard a lot from them, in my own opinion. Their words have been very few in numbers. We've seen Adam Austin, we've seen Jacob Buck come out to the ring, and they are confident. But it seems like every other man who is going to best in the world and has an absolute match on the card. He's gold, Johnny Starr, Beast, Trevor Jericho, even the Alliance. They've all spoken much more about what Best in the World is going to bring for them, about their plans for Best in the World, about their ideas for Best in the World, retaining the championship, becoming the champion, ending a rivalry, continuing the fight, and what have you. But it seems like these two men, Jacob Buck on the right and Adam Austin on the left, these two men are seemingly much more interested in simply getting in the ring and showing everybody exactly what they intend to do. Making their statement very clear physically rather than verbally. And of course that is commendable, it's respectable. Don't want to run your mouth too much. But one's got to really wonder. Adam Moss and Jacob Bowe have kind of been mysteries for a little bit now. It's very clear that they want respect in Impact Pro Wrestling. And they want it very, very soon. And they'll get it violently by any means necessary by brutalizing any of their opponents. But it seems like their own ideas are real mysteries here. Now this matchup is about to begin. The Heartbreaker, Tommy Hart and Adam Austin, set to go head to head right here. And you can see Tommy Hart starting the matchup aggressively with that running neck breaker. Tommy, of course, he's realizing this is the very last IPW before Best in the World, so this is his very last chance to get anything going for himself before Best in the World, get on that Best in the World card. Now you can see Jacob Buck getting on the apron for a moment, trying to distract Tommy. Looks like it didn't work out though. Adam got something going for himself a little bit. Look at that, Tommy went for the neck breaker, but Adam able to fight him off and deliver the overhead belly to belly. Here comes Adam delivering a Big old back suplex. You can see Adam gonna measure Tommy Hart here just to deliver a quick stomp right to the chest. Now in these past couple weeks we haven't really seen a whole lot of tag team match. I don't think we've seen a lot of individual growth and individual work from both Adam Austin and Jacob Buck. It appears that they're much more focused on their own their own skills here rather than being a tag team which is not a bad thing as we've seen team respect can definitely put in work as a tag team we've seen that with an absolute clarity of course their matchup against Death's Bounty shows that they can work together well as a team but it seems like in this build up to best in the world we've been seeing Adam Austin and Jacob Buck really work on themselves individually the here. One's got to wonder how that fares against the Alliance. Cody Cole and Bobby Brock, who we have definitely seen multiple times, work as an absolute team. It seems that Cody Cole and Bobby Brock might as well just beat one guy holding both of the tag team titles. It's just how well they work together. While we're seeing Adam Austin work by himself well, Jacob Buck worked by himself well, and then them both just sinking together harmoniously. Now you see Tommy Hart here trying to get some momentum, trying to get back into this matchup as best he can, setting up for that knee strike and then the clothesline. A nice one two combo right there from the Heartbreaker. 
You can see Tommy trying to go for a punch right there, but Adam fighting back, able to get back into the ring, and just so Tommy can keep going on the offense here, setting up Adam Austin for the Snake Eyes on that top turnbuckle, doing some damage. Now you see Jacob Buck on the apron, distracting Tommy Hart here, able to get his opponent, oof, able to get his opponent the time that he needed to recover. Jacob Buck able to help out his partner, Adam Austin, distracting Tommy, giving Adam enough time to recover, deliver that nice half hatch overhead suplex, and then Adam continues on the assault with this triplet of clotheslines. Now Adam going up tippity top rope. He wants to fly, but first he wants Tommy Hart on his feet so he can fly with a big chop. Looks like he couldn't get all of it, but he got enough of it, able to do some damage. Able to continue his own little reign of terror here on the Heartbreaker as he sets up Tommy for a stun gun. Tommy Hart looking for the pinfall right here. And Adam able to kick out. Only able to get one right there. But Tommy Hart still in control. Still looking for a victory here. Adam fighting back though. Nice arm drag at the reversal. Now getting Tommy Hart from the back of the neck. And setting him down with the snap there. Very nice drop kick right to the back of the neck. And now a pinfall attempt right here. Looks like that was 1 and 75 right there. Unable to get a two count, but still able to do some damage. Adam Moss and Sunny Control, maybe not for long. You can see Tommy Hart fighting back. Here comes Tommy with. Looks like he was going for a half hatch DDT. But Adam fighting out of it with some strong punches right to the gut. And here comes Adam Austin setting up for Glory Bomb. Adam not going to go for a pinfall just yet here. He's going to continue the assault on Tommy Hart. An elbow right to the back of the neck. And then a kick right to the gut. Now you see Adam Austin now going for the pinfall. Elbow to the back of the neck. Kick to the gut. But not enough to end this matchup. Tommy still able to kick out here. But will he be able to kick out of what's coming? Because what's coming is the 7 star. Frog Splash, Adam goes with the pin, one, two, and three. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Adam Austin gaining more momentum for himself and for his team for best in the world. Jacob Buck has got to be hyped seeing his tag team partner pull off such a dominating victory. Adam Austin got to be hyped pulling off such a dominating victory. Cody Cole and Bobby Brock got to be analyzing this matchup here, seeing any holes in the armor of Adam Austin. You got to believe this might be a very intelligent strategy from Team Respect. If all you can see is their one-on-one -on -one matches, you don't know how they're going to come across at best in the world. You don't know what to expect when you see two singles wrestlers in a tag team matchup. This could be the strategy of Team Respect, kind of throw off the alliance. They don't know what to expect because they they're not seeing anything. Now you see some of the highlights from this matchup here. Big kick right to the gut right there. And that was almost ending of this matchup. We're almost getting there. Adam went for the pinfall. Of course, we saw it was an unsuccessful attempt. It was right after this, though. Right here, Adam went up. And he went down with the seven-star frog splash. Now you see Adam Austin celebrating his own victory here but looks like he's asking Jacob Buck to get something oh look at this Jacob Buck going underneath the ring and he's got a steel chair at hand Adam's got that steel chair referee asking him not to do anything here oh but he's gonna scare off the referee referee doesn't want to get hit with that steel chair but looks like Tommy isn't gonna have a choice but to get hit with that steel chair Adam throwing two big shots to Tommy and it looks like you can see Jacob Wanting in on the action. Adam going to happily oblige. And here comes strike number three. This time from Jacob Buck. And you got to believe that's sending a message to the Alliance. 
Cody Cole and Bobby Brock have got to be weary coming this Sunday of Team Respect. But right now, it's time for our main event of the evening. DJ Summers, the most entertaining man on IPW, is about to go head-to-head -head with the first-generation wrestler, Trevor Jericho. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. His very last matchup on Impact Pro Wrestling. Best in the world is this Sunday. Trevor Jericho's got one more opportunity to gain momentum. One last chance to gain any kind of edge for best in the world. And he's going to need every single sec of it. Every single sip of momentum. Every single sign of excitement. Anything that he can get. Any edge he can get for best in the world. He's going to need it. And this is his last chance to get it. Trevor Jericho, we've seen and heard him over these past couple weeks. He is a very confident man. He has been in the ring with the IPW World Heavyweight Champion Beast before. In fact, Beast beat Trevor Jericho at the very beginning of this year to become our first Impact Pro Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. He's the man that sidelined Trevor Jericho for months Trevor Jericho knows Beast, and Beast knows Trevor Jericho. Those two men are going to walk into Best in the World as nothing that are not strangers here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we haven't seen this face on Impact Pro Wrestling for a little while, but it's always good to have the DJ back. Ladies and gentlemen, the most entertaining man on Impact Pro Wrestling... D. J. Summers. Now, the best of my knowledge, we haven't seen D. J. Summers and Trevor Jericho in a matchup. I, I'm, I'm sorry if perhaps I'm forgetting something in the past where we have seen this, but I don't remember seeing D. J. Summers and Trevor Jericho in the same ring with each other. This is definitely going to be a excellent matchup between these two. You can see D. J. Summers doing what he's done a hundred times before. Of course, I'm talking about entertaining all of these fans here in attendance. One's got to wonder if he just got any uh, thoughts on his mind about Jack Smith and how Jack's been kind of taunting DJ ever since he won the IPW Television Championship. Now, DJ back on Impact Pro Wrestling. He's got a big matchup here. And you know, this matchup may be the best thing for Trevor Jericho. Maybe the best thing Trevor Jericho can even hope for. You know, DJ Summers is a former IPW television champion. He knows what it takes to be the champion. He knows what it means. He knows all the commitment and the sacrifice it takes. A big matchup here for Jericho. He's going to be going one-on-one -on -one with a former champion. And this could prepare him for Sunday when he goes one-on-one -on -one with a reigning and defending champion. Now, that grapple, you can see very clearly. Nice clean break, but Jericho fighting out of the corner very quickly with a nice backbreaker. Going for a kick, but DJ able to avoid it. And here comes reverse suplex slam. DJ getting Jericho up on his butt and now setting him up for one knee. And here comes a big punch to the face from DJ Summers. Haven't seen DJ on IPW for a while here. Now that he's back, you know that he's looking for a victory here. A big victory over Jericho would definitely help DJ. At the very least, it would get him a spot on the card for best in the world. If he doesn't already have one already, I'd be surprised if he didn't. Nice STO right there from DJ Summers. Now you can see... Nice maneuver right there from Trevor Jericho. Nice reversal, shoulder tackle. Now getting control... Nice, knee to the back, and then the Russian leg sweep. Now Jericho getting DJ up on his feet. Irish whip, sending DJ to those ropes. Looking for a super kick. You can see DJ able to avoid it. Now able to take control for himself. Irish whip of his own. Looks like he was going for a forearm shot. Not able to connect with all of it, but with enough of it. Now you see DJ setting up 
Trevor Jericho in those ropes for a rope hung DDT. Slamming Jericho's face directly into the canvas right here. Now DJ getting Jericho up on one knee. Jericho fighting back. Big punch right to the gut. But DJ still in control. Irish whip sending Trevor Jericho to the outside of the ring now. And DJ gonna follow him here. Now both men on the outside of the ring. And the fight continues right here. As you can see DJ delivering a quick punch right to the face of the first generation wrestler. Nice little one-two kick combo right there from DJ Summers. Now DJ got Jericho up on his shoulders and looks like he's gonna use Jericho as a battering ram. Slamming him back first into the barricade. Jericho's trying to fight back here. Nice shoulder block. Sending DJ back into the ring. Jericho getting back into the ring himself. Quick kick right to the gut of DJ Summers. Now Jericho getting back into this matchup. Setting up for a nice headlock driver. A big move right there from Jericho. Going for the pinfall, but unable to get a three count. This matchup will continue. DJ back on his feet. Irish whip sending Jericho into that corner. Now setting up Jericho. Tippity top rope. And you can see very clearly DJ Summers looking for a big move. He's got Jericho up and he drops him with a brain buster. You can see DJ looking for big moves here. He's not playing around. He delivers the springboard elbow drop. DJ looking for the pinfall victory. Got one two but immediately as that hand hit the map for two Jericho was able to kick out but DJ still in control here delivering a very nice reverse DDT DJ getting Jericho up on his shoulders and Jericho gonna get rammed into that turnbuckle and then get dropped to the canvas with that power slam Look at this right here. Nice reversal right there from Trevor Jericho. The dragon screw right there. Able to drop DJ. Getting Jericho back into this matchup. Hopefully. Or maybe not. You can see DJ still fighting with a big shot right to the gut. And DJ delivers that twisting cutter. Going for the pinfall victory here. But that's not enough. Trevor Jericho able to kick out. And you know, while Jericho might not be looking so hot early on in this matchup, you gotta know it's actually showing resiliency here. He's gonna have to be resilient if he wants to come across victorious against Beast this Sunday. Shows resiliency right here from Trevor Jericho. Trevor now trying to get himself back into this matchup, delivering a great back suplex. And now you can see him setting up DJ for a surfboard face buster. Looking for a pinfall victory off of that. But that's not going to be enough. Now Jericho doing some damage here. Trying to get himself back into this matchup. Resiliency is great. Resiliency will get you far. But you still got to do whatever you can do to win this matchup. Uh, you can see Jericho looking for the springboard elbow drop. But not able to connect with it, but still able to keep the control right here as he sends DJ Summers to the outside of the ring. Nice spear to the outside. Now you see DJ getting up on his feet. Jericho maybe looking to fly with that nice clothesline from the apron. DJ delivering a quick punch right to the gut. Another quick punch right here. And now slamming Trevor into that barricade and he hits him with the Uranagi. Right on the barricade, doing some damage right to the back. You can see DJ in control setting up for that reverse suplex slam. We've seen that before. Jericho sending DJ back into the ring, now getting back into the ring himself. This matchup continuing here. Jericho sending DJ into that corner. 
setting up DJ tippity top rope but DJ flatting him off now on the top rope looking for a crossbody you gotta believe that Henry Long and Beast are both watching this matchup looking at their other uh, competition for this Sunday oh you can see that right there a very nice maneuver from DJ Summers and it looks like DJ's looking to end this matchup here comes the real get down DJ Summers looking for the pinfall victory over the first generation wrestler one two but not three ladies and gentlemen the resiliency from Trevor Jericho showing once again now Jericho's trying to fight back European uppercut nice knee drop right there after the snapmare you can see Trevor Jericho trying to get himself back into this matchup the resiliency is shown after that get down may have given him a little bit of an adrenaline shot nice drop kick right there to DJ Summers you can see Jericho in control here turning over DJ so we can hit him with this rolling cutter we got a pinfall right here from Trevor Jericho but you can see DJ Summers able to kick out this matchup still going on Trevor Jericho showing some resiliency here throughout this matchup but DJ is just as resilient DJ isn't gonna get shut down that easily Jericho's gonna have to put DJ down this is what makes a champion ladies and gentlemen DJ Summers a former IPW television champion he knows the resiliency it takes he knows the power it takes and Jericho gonna try to conquer a former champion with the first gen kick pinfall one two and three and you know Trevor Jericho just won this matchup he just conquered a former champion a former IPW television champion that means that he's got what it takes to win the big matches and he's gonna have the biggest matchup of his career this Sunday at best in the world the biggest matchup he's ever had against Beast we'll see if that's the big match that Jericho can pull out a victory in that first gen kick may be his salvation his biggest thing and the thing he needs to hold that championship high above his head and you know that Beast is looking for that spear that he needs to pull out a victory here that IPW World Championship is on the line and there's a lot at stake Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Here comes Henry Long, of course, Henry Long, the advocate, the manager for the Impact Pro Wrestling World Champion Beast. Now you see Henry Long coming down to the ring. He's got something to say here. Looks like Henry Long and Trevor Jericho are going to get into a little war of the words, maybe. Emery Long looking all business here. You gotta believe that he just saw this matchup and he is definitely prepared for best in the world. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like uh, Henry Long leaving the ring. He made some insinuations, and there are his insinuations coming to fruition. The Impact Pro Wrestling World Champion Beast on the stage. And it looks like Jericho is going to oblige with these, these instigations here. It looks like we're not going to have to wait until Sunday for these two men to go at it. They're about to go at it right here on Impact Pro Wrestling. No title on the line, just about the fight right here. Jericho throwing the first strike to now. Beast and Jericho trading back and forth. Security being brought out here. Now this is definitely going to be a war, ladies and gentlemen, at Sunday. Best in the world. It's going to be a blowout.